Yeah, we're live on Facebook. So I can see Kechiku Aja from, from Oweri. I can see Mavis, how are you? Fake Cynthia from Cameroon. I can see um, Evelyn from Cameroon. Nena from Cameroon. Micah from Cameroon. Yeah, this is going to be a Cameroon hot. Jagila from Jones. Mavis from Cameroon. Alice from Kenya. How are you guys doing today? I hope you're all doing great. I hope you are doing great. Yeah, our guest is with us here now. So let me bring her up. Welcome, our boss lady. Hope you're doing great. How are you? I'm doing fine. Thank you for this invitation. I'm doing great. Thank you so much. Fantastic. Let me just do some connect us properly on Facebook because others are joining us on Facebook. OK. We are not yet mm. friends on Facebook, meet you. We are. Are we? <laughs> yes. Ah, I don't. <laughs> okay, I'll tag you. No one will be a friend with you on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> we need to connect to the source. <laughs> Seriously, I buy the source. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> That's great. We thank God. Oh, we're live properly on Facebook. I can see Nasi. Yeah, guys, tell us where you're joining from. Like I said, I, uh, on Zoom, I can see Justina, you see for um hey the boss lady. Oh, so the boss lady Vivian is a lioness in Cameroon. <laughs> you mean the lion, two lion. <laughs> Good to have you here. Welcome, everyone. Um Agno Michelle from UK. Welcome, Betty from Cameroon. Welcome, guys. Welcome, everyone. Docas from Facebook, from Lagos. Samuel from Yo, Vivian from Uwere. Teresa, Teresa from Zambia. So, uh, welcome. Welcome to the 35th episode of Meet Your Success Partner. Every day, star directors are dropping in Africa and the world. Every day now, it's the everyday team. Star directors are dropping. And so we want to tap from their success. The, one of my mentors said, if you meet, if you uh, sit around successful people, there is no way it will not rub off on you. You surely become successful. And so, and that's one of the reasons I set up this program so that we can see these success story, people with the success story one-on-one, -on -one, we can hear from them one-on-one. -on -one. It's not the one we hear people writing. This time you're seeing them face to face. And so guys, my name is Charles Tambo. I'm the boss of the Global Bosses. Here with us, we have our guest all the way from Cameroon someone I admire energy, energy in this business so much because I'm seeing the activities she's putting into her business on social media. Uh, I love what they are doing, doing in Cameroon now. We, we, the, the, those cars you guys are qualifying for, please, you need to send some of them down to <laughs> Nigeria. <laughs> send, send them down to Nigeria. We want them, man. I love, I love the energy in Cameroon. Uh, uh, so let's let me welcome our guest. Let me welcome our guest so that we can get started ASAP. Lots of time. So our guest Vivian Unchaku. I hope I pronounced that part well. Yeah, Unchaku. Yes. Tata. 
graduate mm -hmm. in business administration and is certified interior and exterior designer, founder of the NGO Virtuous Women Association and a relationship counselor, married since 2009 and mother of a beautiful and smart little girl. Her greatest achievements are the thousands of lives she has changed and the people she's mm -hmm. using. She's full of energy. Like you see, guys, I told you that. <laughs> Determination and a great mentor. A star director with a team of over 50,000 partners in Long Ridge Bioscience International. If you are excited to have her here, to hear from her today, I want you to drop 111 in the chat box. Drop that. Drop 111 now in the chat box. Make it hot. Make the room hot. Make it hot, guys. Make the chat hot. So you're welcome. Thank you, sir. Thank you, my esteem. How is the family? No, great. We thank God. We thank no, God. You're, Everyone looking, you're looking good. No, thank you, you, sir. If you, if you look good, you feel good. Yes. <laughs> yes. So... Uh, can you can you tell us now? Uh, just share with us who you are. Then I know I've read your profile. Then how did you get started network marketing? Were you in network were you in network marketing before you joined Longridge? Share with us that journey. If you were not, what now attracted you to Longridge? Okay. Thank you, sir, for this opportunity. I'm very, very grateful to be on your platform to tell my success story. I want to thank you a lot. You have been, you are one of our mentors here in Cameroon. We look up to you a lot. Maybe you don't know. We look up to you a lot. We remember the time you started the Zoom meeting. You were the first to start that. And we did copy that. All my team members, every distributor in Cameroon, copied the, the Zoom meeting from you because we learned that from you. So I want to say thank you so much because it has changed with this COVID-19. We couldn't have uh, trainings as we, our normal trainings that we used to have. So when we saw what you were doing, we tapped into it and it's really, really helping our team, keeping us together, keeping us going in the business so thank you sir and i wish all the wish you all the best with your family may god continue to guide bless you and protect you thank you very thank much you. thank god for everything okay so i am vivian chaco you have already read my profile i'm uh, i graduated in the university finished school got married like any young woman and doing my own thing, working for a company at one point, and I decided to go do my own business because in Cameroon, I'm from, I'm from a family where everybody wants to achieve in life, have something to do or leave a legacy. So I was like working for a company for a long time will not give me what I want. So I was like, okay, what can I do to to be something which may be up to that time I haven't yet become. So I was thinking on doing business, thinking on other things. I wasn't really thinking on network marketing. I didn't even know what network marketing was all about. I have never, I've seen a lot of friends, if a lot of friends of mine were in it because I'm a very skeptical person. So it was yeah. very difficult for them to convince me to come into the business. So I had, and most of them now today are in my business doing wonderfully well. So I didn't really see it. So I want to say the first factor for me was God, because I was praying a lot, like asking God for directions, asking God to show me the way because I was at that point where I had opened a business for myself, I opened an office trying to run my own business, but it wasn't going the way I wanted. So I was like, this business is not working. I need something, I need to do something. And I prayed to God, asked him for directions, asked him to bring me an opportunity, something that will 
make me do what I want to do to achieve my goals. And because I had a vision for myself, I wanted, there were things that projects that I wanted to accomplish in life and I'm still wanting to accomplish. So I yeah. needed something that would help me get to that. So I had a vision for myself. I tell people that the first is God. The second was the vision that I had. What do you see? Because I ask a lot of people here watching us today. What are you seeing? What are you seeing? Because what you see determines what you you become in the future. So my vision pushed me to try many things. And without vision, even the Bible says, my people do perish. Because you need to have that vision. You have to need to have an image of what you want to become in life. And thanks to God, I stumbled over my sister, my very, my kid sister. Her name is Noela Ponja. That's my direct sponsor. That's the person who sponsored me into the business. She's a sister of mine. So she has wow. been into other businesses. And she told me that Vivian, um, she will always come and tell me the other network marketing companies, but that's always, I would say, no, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to, I don't want anything to do with it. So she said, no, just listen to this one. And I will refuse. That's why I say God really brought me into Long Ridge because it's not a human who brought me in. It's God, God touched my heart and I came into Long Ridge because I'm, if I'm somebody who has, I have a lot of friends. And most of them were in other companies, top companies that if I call their name, the names here, you will know. But they convinced yeah. me and told me all sorts of things. I said, no. But I don't know what happened. When my kid sister came with this one, because she has told me about two or three, that Vivian, I want you to join this. And I said, no. So when she brought this one, and she's not living in the same town with me, she's living in another town called Limbe. So she, she called me on the phone. She did call me and said, Vivian, please, there's this other company which, is, which has come, which is people are doing well in it. And I want you to go check it out. There's a seminar coming up. Can you go and check it out? I don't know what, what entered me that day because that's why I say it's God. I just told her that, okay, I will go. And I'm somebody, when I say yes, it's yes. So as I told her that, okay, I will go. She just knew that I will not tell her that I will go. I just went. And that day I went to the office and there was a, it was a Saturday. And I went and sat there listening to Coach Franklin. I will always appreciate him. I will always thank him because that's why I tell people that it's very important how you present your business because you don't know who is sitting and watching at yes. you. So you should be True. very careful how you present your business. Because when I went in there, I didn't know Franklin. I've never met him before. And the crowd that we have today in seminars, or oh, it's not what I had that day. I went back to the office. I think there were just about six people in the office. But he delivered. Franklin delivered. And up to today, I remain grateful to Franklin because he delivered. And he made me now, I was like, okay, this is something that I can do. This is something I can do. You know, inside me, I say, okay, this is something I can do. Because you need to speak from within. Everything comes from within. Because if I went there and it didn't go into my spirit, I wouldn't have even joined the business. I would have said, okay, oh, or even if I joined, I would not be as active as I am because I'm not really committed to it. So Franklin did a great job and I decided to join. I asked him, you say it's just to open my mouth and talk to people and they come on board. It's a power of duplication. That's what I got. All the demos he did, everything he did because I entered Long Beach for a purpose. So I mm. asked him, so do you say that if I do these things, open my mouth and talk, bring people into the business and train them, I'll make it in this business. I'll achieve all what you are telling me. He said, yes. I said, is it true? He said, yes. I said, okay, just hold on. So what I tell people that, what is your state of mind when you're coming into the business? Are you prepared to put in your best, giving your best? 
are you prepared to give in your best? Because there are opportunities that come our way, but we don't seize them. We don't seize those opportunities. And the way people, my friends, my families that were in other network marketing, the way they followed me. And I tell people sometimes, when somebody tells you no, just hold on. Don't be angry. Because one day, one day, that person will tell you yes. Noella has been prospecting me, prospecting me. But this one, I said yes, she wasn't there. She was not sitting by my side. And I think after that, we saw after six months, and I started, I started up my business without her there. You saw, you saw, you saw uh, your, your upline after six months into the business. Six months into the business, we haven't seen. Wow. Uh, so the way you take your business, the way you embrace the business or the way you uh, uh, embrace the opportunity is very important. It's very important. Wow. I was not, I am not from a poor home because a lot of people tell you their stories that they didn't have. Mine is not that story. I was not lacking. I was not mm. like somebody who was in need. But in my family, I didn't want to bear just my parents' name or my grand be, be identified by my grandparents or my parents. I wanted to be identified as me. When I stand in front of people, who is this person standing in front of you? And I wanted to create an impact. And that is the reason why I was looking for that opportunity where I can do what I want to do. Because I have a vision. I have a 10 years plan. I have a five years plan. I have a 10 years plan. I have a 20 years plan of what I want to achieve. And long we just came to me. That is how I joined Longreach. Wow, that's the, that, that was that was when what year? That's twenty seventeen. Twenty seventeen. I joined Longreach twenty seventeen. I see, and you didn't, and you didn't bother to see your offline until after six months into the business. No, I didn't. I didn't because <laughs> she really gave me this opportunity, <laughs> and I remain grateful to Noella. Anywhere, any place, I remain grateful to her because if she did not show me this opportunity, truly speaking, I would not be with that, you that today. For you to have success in this business, it, it, wow, that's true. It, it shows that she success is all lot. about is all about is all about you. If you want to really become successful, it's not about it's not about we introduce you to the business. It's about you. So you should be no. grateful to the person no, who introduced it's not about you to the business. Yes, yes, because she really, when I joined that business, the hunger in me, because hunger and passion goes together. The hmm. hunger in me, I had something in me. I wanted to achieve something. I want to achieve something in my life. And they showed me this opportunity called Longway. She showed me and I had great people like, because you can work with your sidelines. You don't only have to work with your upline. Because sometimes you're not in the same town with your upline. What happens? You abandon the business. There are people, I had a, our SD, our mama in the house, Mommy Jane, she was in Douala. I had Franklin. Franklin was in Douala, the coach. He was the one teaching us everything. So I, I took everything. I studied. I went, I did my notes. I was ready to listen and I was humble enough to stay under the authority. Because sometimes if you come to this business and think that you bring what you have from outside to inside, it's gonna be a problem. Maybe you think that what you know outside there is the same that will apply to your business here. You need to be able to sit down, especially when you come as a newcomer or even an old member, because up to now I'm still learning. When people, even my downlines, when they are doing seminars or they are doing some sort of trainings, I go sit and listen. And trust me, I have my pen and paper ready to get some notes because every day we do learn. So how hungry are the people or how hungry are you, those who are listening to us? How hungry are you? How passionate are you? 
because you must be mm. passionate about this business and hunger. hunger. Comes with yes, you hunger, must be guys. hungry. <laughs> Lovely. Because when you, uh, uh, as you were talking, I can see how hungry you you were when you got started. Because many people many people relate hunger to when you don't have uh, when you don't have money. The kind of hunger we are talking about is hunger for success, guys. Yes, yes. Hunger for success. If you want it desperately enough, you surely get it. Yeah. What did them? So let, let, let me know. Now, how did you, when you got started, you not join, you don't know anything about network marketing because people feel that for you to have success in this business, you must be a networker. You must be a networker. You must have gotten the skill of network marketing uh, before, before you can have, or you need to have network marketers in your network for you to have success. Now you started this business, no pre-knowledge about our profession. So what did you not do the beginning of your business? The first thing I did was for the close to three months, I sat under the coaching of Madame Taba and Coach Franklin. They trained me. I wanted to know everything. That's why I talk about hunger. You know, it's just like you, yeah. uh, you're, you stay the whole day and you have not eaten. And maybe in mm. Nigeria, I think people have what is called afa. Maybe that's your best meal. In Cameroon, we call, we have, we say roasted fish. We like mm. roasted fish. And you've stayed the whole day and you have not eaten. Oh. And then in the when evening. I, when, I, when I come to Cameroon, I must eat the roasted fish. Yes, yeah, so <laughs> you eat enough of that. So when, <laughs> so when after when you're hungry and you've stayed the whole day without eating and you sit down now and they put a plate of afan or if they put a plate of roasted fish in in front of you, what you like eating, the way you eat it, if there's some if there are people sitting next to you or Eru, if there are, there are people sitting next to you, you they will look at you and just the way you're eating, will want them they will also want to eat that food. So the, the hunger and the passion goes together. The hunger and the, I was so hungry for success. And I saw that this is a genuine place where if I really work hard, I will go. So I started training myself. I didn't wait for my, I told you that I met my opt line after about six months because she's not in the same town with me. So I went to that, uh, to the, to the, for the presentation. I was there alone. I didn't have anybody with mm. me. I just sat there and listened. Mm. When I finished and my spirit man was touched, I decided to do the business. And I'm somebody, I'm either hot or cold. I'm either in or I'm out. So mm. I decided that I will make this, I will make this happen. I will succeed. If other people have succeeded, I will succeed. Because you need to be positive about your business. You need to tell yourself that you will succeed. And that's what I told myself. And you cannot, be, you cannot succeed without learning the business. So I tell people that when you come into this business, the first thing you must do, you must sit down and learn the business. Learn to be a leader. Because you cannot bring people into the business when you yourself are not a leader. I see people who have come into the business and they say three months four months, one year, and you ask them to present a company, just company profile, they can't. How do you want to succeed in a business like this? You need to take the lead because this business is all about leadership. You need to show the people you bring into the business that you know what you're doing. So I, after learning and learning and learning and getting as much knowledge as possible, learning how to do the pad demo, the cup demo, Try learning all those things. I went back to my house and sometimes I'll be talking alone. I'll be talking alone. I'm a very shy person and I'm somehow like an introvert. I'm somebody that is always closed, you know, I'm an introvert. So this place was a place now to make me talk. Whether I like it or not, I must talk. And I remember when I was <laughs> listening to Franklin, I was asking myself, Vivian, how will you stand 
and talk to those people because the fear in me, and I tell people, you need to drive that fear because fear is the number one killer of your business. If you're afraid mm. to stand in front True. of people and express yourself, True. I say fear is the number one killer. So when you feel, when I was there listening to Frankie, I saw how he was talking, his posture and everything. I was like, hmm, mm. when will I do this? When will I, when will I do this? <laughs> I don't think I can, no. I can't, this is not me. This thing is not me. And I decided in my mind, that's why I said this business is all about you. It's all about you. It's not about your upline. It's not about, it's about you. If you decide in your mind that you will make it, trust me, you will make it. So I decided that I will, I will stand and present to people. I will do that. And I went to my house. I started reading everything I could read about Long Reach. I said, I'll start with the company profile. I started reading about it. I started in Long Reach, it's a monkey see, monkey do. So all the gestures yeah. that Franklin was doing, all the things Madame Taba was teaching us, as we were there, I was just copying. So I was doing monkey see, monkey do at that time because I didn't really know anything about network marketing except the thing they said you can duplicate, you should duplicate. It's about duplication. Just, just copy, just copy and paste. Yeah, that's copy and monkey see, yes. monkey do. Copy it. Yes. yes. So. I was, so I told Franklin one day that Franklin, I was going to, I would stand and do the company profile. I was about three months into the business. I would do the company profile. And I was like, hmm. he said, okay, that's good. So that day, my SD, oh, everything was doing me, everything. I was scared, I was shaking. Everything was doing me because I have never, <laughs> in front of a crowd to talk to people. So everything, my system was all upset. But when I sat there and that day, the crowd was more. It's as if God said that the crowd should increase, the people should be more so that, <laughs> so that <laughs> do it, whether I like it or not, I will talk. So I stood in front of the audience and I started talking. My voice was going all directions, but I told myself, Vivian, for you to be a leader, this is what you have to do so that you show it to your own, the people who are coming behind you, you show them what to do because a leader shows his, um, his children or his partners what to do. Followers. Followers what to do. So I now did that that day. I was so happy. The first clap I got, because when I finished doing it, there was people were clapping. The first person who clapped, I always tell people that that person who clapped that day, that first can clap. I thank God for that person because that pushed me now to do more. And today I go around doing seminars, doing trainings for more than 1,500 people. I'm not afraid. I'm like, that fear has, the spirit of fear has gone out of me. So I talk wow. about hunger passion and taking out that fear i had to push it away mm -hmm. so uh, like uh, that, that's you just you just affirmed what my mentor said said he said network marketing is a personal paid education program personal paid education program is it is a paid you get paid mm -hmm. educating yourself in this platform because mm -hmm. unlike other platform for you to for you to be educated, you have to pay. But in network yeah. marketing, when you educate yourself, you get paid for, for doing that. And it brings out the leader in you, it brings out the person in you. Guys, I hope you are taking notes. I hope you are, I hope you are getting some nugget, whatever nugget you're getting. I want you to drop it in the chat box and make sure you take notes. You take notes, guys. And so did you add you 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 faced any challenges starting your business? Oh, sure. <laughs> I did. Apart, like from, any other apart from the fear, the fear of public speaking, what other challenges did you did you face? The rejections. The rejections. Rejections. That yes. is normal. We face yes. it. It's, it's serious. 
yeah. How are you able to how how are, how are you able to face rejection? Because coming from where you you are now, like the like you said, you were shy, you were you were just you were just yourself, and now you are coming into the public to share your business with people. How are you able to cope cope with people refusing your business, knowing how valuable your business was? Yes, um, the, my mindset was prepared for that because I read it. I I read a lot. My mindset, I was ready for rejections because I have never done network marketing. And I, as I tell you, knowledge is everything. So I read a lot. I yeah. read, if you have not suffered rejection in network marketing, that means you have not started. So I knew that. So when I went out there, and Longreach is so sweet because you just need three leaders, just need three leaders. I was looking for that three. You get me? <laughs> my SD. I was looking for that three because I understood the system. Because when you come into the business, you need to understand the system. So I went out there talking to everybody I could talk to, but I was looking for the three. So when you say no, I'll just say next. When you say no, I just say next, next, no, next, and I will just be going. I decided I had my friends. I want to shout out to my SD Sylvia, my sister, who accepted to join this business with me. Because I had friends who, as I told you, I had friends who were really into network wow. marketing. So, but I have, they have never convinced me for many years to join. Yeah, them. network marketing. Yes. So, like my sister is the severe. When I went and met her in her house, I was telling her about my business for her to call me. She was like, Vivian, you. For how many years <laughs> have I been prospecting you to join my business? Eh? We are here together and I've been prospecting you. I just come and tell me about one company, Long Reach, which I don't even, I've never heard about it because she was a managing director in one, one of the network marketing. She had oh, yeah. So she said she has head of other companies, but she hasn't heard of Long Reach. So which one is this? I think my sister, you must join this business. So she joined it out of the love she had for me. And that's why I thank her every day because she, she, she was like, let me just support my sister in this business. She didn't say no because for years she has been chasing me to join her and I refused. She just joined it because of the love she had for me and she joined my business. And I looked for my three. I had Petra, I had Antonia, I had I had Vivian, I had people that I was looking for and I gathered them because it's not just registering those people, but it's mentoring those people, training them, teaching them what they have taught you so that they can also go down there and teach their own people. So every week we had seminars. I would just create seminars. I would just, I was in the office every day. I left the, the, my office. I closed down the office because it wasn't, it was really, the business wasn't working. So I now took all my time to concentrate on this one. And I was in the office every day to train any of my downlines or anybody who came into the, into the office. And I tell people that you, don't, you, you, you shouldn't only think about training the people that are under your team. Train people that are in your sidelines. If they need information, give it to them because God will bless you. God will use that to bless you. So I was just training. That's true. That's the truth. Yes. That's one of my secrets. Yes. So I was just training and training and training and training. And my team was just expanding, expanding, expanding. We started going to different towns. I left my home, left my husband, left my children in the house. My daughter was still very young. Those are, that's you, the left, fact. you left your comfort zone. My comfort zone left it. We we'll climbed bikes. We we'll went to <laughs> villages on bikes. I mean, with my team, because I tell you, you can't move alone. You need to move, especially in the beginning, when you just start this business. You need to gather your, your team members. You need to gather them and try to move with them. Show them mm. the way. But if you are not hungry enough or you're not passionate enough, how will you show them? How will you show them that this business is something that is serious? Because I tell people that you treat this business not as a part-time or as a hobby, but you treat it as a job. Most people come into the mm. business and treat it, treat it as 
one part-time stuff they are doing or they are just having fun or they are just there temporarily. But you need to treat it as a job. I treated it as a job. All my top leaders in my team, they treated it as, even those who were working full-time. I have one great leader, uh, Gladys, in, in, on the, in my team. She works full-time. Vivian works full-time. There are a lot of people in my team, they work full-time, but they treat this one also as a job because of the hunger in them. So how hungry are you for success? Wow. I tell people there are three Ps. There are three Ps. You have patience, you have perseverance, and you have passion. Those three go together. Patient, passion, perseverance. Yeah, passion. You need to be patient because this business requires patience. Some of us are not patient enough for this business. We want to go fast. I tell people, all five fingers are not the same. I know that. When I see somebody succeeding, I celebrate the person. And I tell God, Father, I'm waiting for my turn. I know I'm waiting to succeed in this thing. Father, as I celebrate this person. We are fighting. Yes, yeah. I'm celebrating you. So you need to be patient. You need to be patient. How patient are you? All five, all five, all, uh, my fingers are not the same like other people. So God has his time when he wants to bless you in the business. Just keep moving. Just keep working hard and leave the rest to God. How passionate are you about it? I cannot talk without mentioning passion. Passion, my exit is the key. If that fire is not in you, I think you can feel the fire in me. Yeah, if it's burning. It's burning. <laughs> it's burning. I'm telling you guys. They are feeling it on Facebook, on Zoom. It's burning. Yes. If the fire is not there, how will you, you are cold. That's how all your team members will be cold. So you need, <laughs> when they meet you, they feel that fire. They feel that, that, that vibration, that positive energy around you. Because you must have it. It's not about negativity. Because even when you go to prospect and you don't have that fire, that passion in you, you will not be able to bring that person in because the person will be looking at you. So how patient are you for this business to materialize? I tell people that this opportunity is like a seed which God has given you. How do you water it? How do you water the seed that is in your hand? Because you either... You know, a seed, you either bury it or you plant it. Some people come into this business and just plant and they bury it actually, they don't plant it. But some of us, my SD, we planted the seed and that's the fruit we're seeing today. We are watering it, we're doing everything for that seed to grow to something and, and it's still growing up to now because we are still, still working. So you need to be patient for that process to go through. Patience is a key. Perseverance. I tell people that long reach is not, is, is, is not a race. It's not a race. You're not, it's not a, you're not running. It's not a race. No. You don't, it's like, it's not a, it's not even, let me not say long reach is not a race. Long reach is not a, a splint. Like high jump. It's a marathon. The you marathon. know, marathon. You the go marathon. slow. True. You go. You're going. Everybody you're going. Win. Yes, you're going. Long reach is a marathon. It's not mm. a jump. Because it's not the one who got there first. Yes. No. So you, you just go at your pace. You go at your pace and trust the process. Trust the process. Wow. Yeah. Awesome process. This is this is this is amazing. Um, uh, sharing your journey with us. Um, this is 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 mind blowing. Knowing how you got started. Um, because many you we have seen that uh, learning precedes earning. Learning precedes earning. So if you really want to have success in this business, guys, you need to have that hunger to learn the process follow the process you need to learn it and that's what i've seen from your story um you you even you you even sacrifice mm -hmm. your ego uh, because if you if you were to say because of your family background 
um, you, you can even say this is not your team. It is normal because people people in your category will say, oh man, it's, it's not my team. team, it's not my team. Uh, so I was wondering what is the team thing uh, in, in this team? <laughs> 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 because <laughs> for me, I call it a misplaced priority when someone will be in a system and if you look at the future of that system, there is no way you can achieve your dream. And someone is sharing a business opportunity with you that when you look at the system, if you give it enough time, you're going to achieve your dream, but you are choosing that system that is not going to make you achieve your dream. You have seen people gone through the system, but they don't survive. Yeah. They are even yeah. fighting for their pension. You get it now. There is nothing yeah. wrong with those systems, but look at the future of where you are and see if you are making the right decision. So that that is that is what I tell people. So we we appreciate your journey, and I want to tell us if what are your success story so far. What are your success story? Uh, my yeah. success story. What can I say? The first thing I would just say is the, the number of lives God has changed through this business. Because mm. my success, my joy in life is to see people succeed, see people True. comfortable. And this place has been a blessing to many people that I know that their lives have changed completely be it financially, be it mentally, because success is not only about money. Success, yes, I believe that success is about the impact that you give to your society, the legacy you leave behind. And Longreach is one of those companies that make us be, we can say that we have succeeded. For example, yes, now in my family, there are things I can do to support my family members that in those days I would not. That is really success for me. Also, um, seeing the lives of so many people, hope, long which has given hope to thousands of people under my team, that is success for me. Success also is, is achieving my vision and my vision is what is giving back to the community being that person that can give back to the community, being that person that can create a legacy. And that for me, it's success. Yes, Longreach has, my success in Longreach is, I joined Longreach and I qualified for all the things you can think of my SD, I qualified for all. That same year, I got all the, I got all the qualifications, the promotions which was launched, I got all be the trips, be the cars. Next year, the same thing. So for these three years, I've qualified for everything. 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 Cars, everything. Cars, cars, trips. Yes. I qualify. And, <laughs> yes, not to talk about the bonuses weekly, but that's the sweetest. <laughs> so I have, quali I have qualified. <laughs> I have qualified all those things in Long Beach. And I'm so happy that it's not a one-month wow. thing, but it's a collective, like my success is collective, it's with people, because oh, I am true. not, it's not Vivian standing here who is, I yes, I'm an SD, but it stands to thousands of people under me that I'm where I am standing today That's as true. an SD. And those people also are moving you up. Tell people. You pull. As you're That's pulling, true. they're pulling. So all of you are going. Because in my team today, I just, I just not, I will not stay with us celebrating all my diamond sevens, my diamond six in the house, my diamond fives, because it's thanks to them. Even diamond ones, even the pre-diamonds that just joined. I celebrate them Hello. every day because it's them that have put me here where I am today. Even though I worked hard in the beginning for that, but they also contributed a lot for me to be where I am. Talk like my sister, Sylvia, she's doing a wonderful job in, in, in Cameroon. She's doing so, I'm just so proud of her, you know, Fakesin, Dr. Fakesin, uh, Gladys, Mirabel, 
Petra, Antonia, Laurentia, there are so many of them that Marion, there's so many, Fadimato, Cindy. I have great leaders. And I tell people that you need to build your team looking for leaders. Train them for them to train other leaders and the success story will be wonderful. So my success, my SD, is putting a smile on people's faces. That's what I can say, it's my success. And I'm still going oh, wow. towards that. I have projects which I will not want to unfold here, but know that I have a lot of projects as concerns my community and concerns women and other things. So I have a lot of projects and it's giving back to society that is more important to me. Hello. So, hello. Okay. So that is a little bit about my success, putting joy, helping my, helping my sisters, my brothers, helping my team members, supporting them to build something because when, when you don't have that in mind, if you don't have that in mind, it will be very difficult for you to grow your business. So I always say that, talking to you guys while waiting for my exit to come back, you should be focused. You should try to focus on your business. Don't be distracted because distraction also helps. Distraction also will make you not to really succeed in your business. You need to be focused. And I always talk about your vision, your why, why you joined the business. Why did you join network marketing? You need to be focused because when you're not focused, it will be difficult for you to succeed in the business. It's not easy, but it's possible. So you need to be focused. What we are doing today, I have not even yet, I've not reached the destination I'm going to. I've not yet arrived my destination. I'm still on my way and it's a process, but I'm focusing on laundry. Since I started this business, my eyes, my mind is all about laundry. So if you're not focused, it will be difficult for you to do anything. I got up, I get up in the morning, I talk of laundry. My husband brushing my teeth is laundry. Cooking is laundry. Sitting in the parlor is laundry. Going out is long reach. Everything about me is was and is still long reach. So even in my heart, my husband would say, wow. He was just looking at me. He was just like, eh, long reach, long reach. Ha. He was just looking at his wife because he couldn't even understand <laughs> what was going on. But he supported me. And I would go places because I was focused. There are people who came and told me, Vian, there's this mm. other business, there's this other thing, there's this other, there's, I said, please, please, this one, let mm. me finish this before I'm eating. This is my food, food, this is my plate of food that I'm eating. I've not mm. finished eating it. Don't bring me to any other thing. <laughs> yeah, let me finish this one. So you need to be focused. I was very focused, very, very focused. And you need to sacrifice. There's a lot of sacrifice in this business. I sacrificed so much, so much that I can't tell you. I will go, I will be in the office training. From there, I'll go to different, I will drive to different towns with my team members. We'll create seminars in different towns. Go there, go there, sleep. At one point, one time, we slept on one bed. Four of us, one bed in Kribi. We slept four of us on one bed for two days. That, and all of us were mother of children and wives to, 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 to our husbands. We slept there. I, as, as the civil, no excuse. Man, no excuse. We were there pushing the business. You see us today who have succeeded is because we did some. How, how have you sacrificed for? How, how, 
what sacrifice have you done for this business we're talking about? What are the sacrifices? I tell people that your passion, your, 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 your success or your dream will take you to the prison and back. There are times you will weep. There are times you'll feel like giving up. There are times you'll not even want to do the business. But because of your why, because of the reason you joined the business, you'll keep pushing. You keep pushing. There are times I get up and I don't even want to do the business. There are times like that. It's normal. But you stay there. Why did you join this business? I had a reason why I joined this business. And I'm moving on. And see also, I believe that if you ask all the star directors, they have a story to tell. There are reasons for doing the business. There are why and why they keep moving. No matter what the difficulty challenges are from their way, they were moving. And I was just moving. Wow. Sorry, the network kicked me out and I'm, I'm back now. Um, I'm, we are really excited with the journey that you have shared with us. And um, especially that part of being focused is very important because there are so many distractions out there. Um, there are genuine distractions. We're not saying you the distraction. There are some distractions that are genuine, but how long will you keep on jumping from one system to the other, guys? Yeah. How long? Why don't you remain focused? If you know a system is people are succeeding in the system, you can also succeed in the system. Have a winning spirit. Look at um, uh, uh, SD Vivian. She already won before she got to before she got the trophy. She won. You know, she had that spirit of winning. And so, if you have that spirit, you're passionate. Even if you don't know what to do, be ready to learn. There are people who are ready to teach you in this business. Our uh, business is not like traditional business where people hide their information. No. In this system, even people who are not in your network, they are ready to teach you what it takes for you to do in the business. So I admire you, Ma. I we really appreciate you coming down here to share your journey with us. Um, there is no journey without uh, roadblock. There is no success without roadblock. You share the roadblocks, your sacrifices you have to make for you to get. Uh, many people don't want to pinch. They, they don't want to get a pinch of uh, pain, but they want to succeed. They don't want to get a pinch of pain. And uh, in this business, you must have some pains, guys. You must pay no it pain, to gain No it. pain, no gain. <laughs> No pain, no, no pain, gain. no gain. Yes, you must pain it to gain it for you to have success here. Now, so for us to ra wrap up, for us to round up, I, I have people who are always saying, who are always saying that um, there are stock. They have been stuck in the business for a long time and they feel like giving up. Hey, what do you have to say to someone who is stuck in the business? No, no team members working again. They complain that their team members are not working. What do you have to say about that? Okay, the first thing I would, I would first I would ask the person how the person has been working with the team members. Because it's not also easy to go out there to get new prospects. So what have you yeah. done for the team members? Because you cannot have a team and everybody is just cold. Then there is something really wrong. Because even everybody at least you should have three persons or three people who are wanting to do the business except you're a newcomer and you have been trying to register people and people are not coming on board because you have those you have yeah. people who have registered a lot of people and they're in the system but follow-up is very important because i tell people that if you don't follow up your team members team building is all about follow-up you need to nurture them to the level where you can leave them but what happens is that sometimes we bring people into the business and they sign up and we just leave them. We just leave them, we just abandon them. When you do that, your network at one point will just freeze. So you need to do, we, I personally I advise you to do follow up. For example, your team has just, you select three persons under that network. Look for your three legs, get one, 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 it makes three people. Those three people have a meeting with them hold a meeting with them, talk to them, ask them, see, I mean, and you choose the people that you think that you can motivate. Because there are people that, whether you do what, they will not get up from the sleep they're sleeping. So those people just forget about them. What would get them up 
is when they will see you succeeding, when they will see you hitting ranks, see you things happening and they're like, ah, I better get up and do my business. So for those people that are in your business, select just three that you think that you can motivate. Call your upline, call or be your mentor, call somebody you can work with or call a sideline for them to help you bring back that fire because if they are not working, it means the fire has gone. So bring back that fire into your team. You can take them out. Sometimes you just do some sleep. You don't have a lot of money. You can buy something small for them and you sit down, share a meal with them, talk with them and give them targets. Like you can tell them that, okay, if you do this thing, I'm ready to, because you need to sacrifice. Generosity comes in this business, my SD. You need to be able to give. Your hands mm. should be open. You should be able to give. You need to nurture your downline, not only in words, in actions and in giving. So there are things you should do to them for them to feel that you are, they, you are with them. You have their back, you're with them. And when you do all those things and you still see that it's not going, you need to start building your team all over again. You start building all over again. Know that that person, those three leaders that you need in your team have not yet entered. So you need to continue recruiting until those people get on board. You need to continue recruiting and try to see how you can, you can like a mother hen, those first months are very important. Either you make it happen or you, 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 you lose them. So you need to gather them, train them, be present, show them that you are present. You want to sh you show them that you want them to succeed because their success is your success. Do everything you can and also put God in prayer. Pray, pray about it. Because for me, my life, everything about me starts with prayers. Everything about me ends with prayers. So you need to also pray, asking God to give you, send you those people that you, he knows you need in your team. Thank you very much, my SD, for these nuggets you shared with us today. We are grateful. Uh, I can't wait to come to Cameroon to see you guys one-on-one. -on -one. We and are also, waiting. Also, we are also waiting. be treated with the roasted fish that I've been hearing here. So thank you. Thank you too. Thank you. Too. <laughs> so Thank you. Too. We. Oh, madam. My law law is here. <laughs> I'm telling you. So happy to meet you, madam. So happy. It's a pleasure. <laughs> Thank you for the wonderful you. work you are doing. Thank you so much. Thank you for the support you're giving our SD, our brother. Thank you so, so much. We do appreciate you, man. So um, with, this is where we are going to call it off, guys. We thank you, thank you everyone for for being a part, for being part of today's program. I want you to drop uh, some emoji, drop some love in the chat box for our SD Vivian for the nuggets she has shared with us for us to have success. I love the hearts. I love the hearts you guys are dropping. Make sure you share this video. We're going to have a replay of this video on YouTube. You can share with your team members. And uh, thank you for your messages in, uh, for wishing us uh, well in our anniversary. Thank you very much for your messages. We are grateful. Um, we are, make sure you key into all the program. Your first mentor is your upline. If your upline is not doing well, go higher, go higher, go higher until you find someone that will help you to build your business if you are having a downtime go back to all this video watch them you will see that all stories are there, there there must be something peculiar about what you are facing in in uh in these uh videos uh these trainings that we are having so thank you my SD. thank you for your thank time you. i know you're a very busy woman so thank we you, are sir. we are thank grateful you so much. But, my wife and I are sending, where well, she's sending her greeting. She's here, you know. You. We are still in the anniversary mode. Yes, so <laughs> we, are. we are waiting for you guys in Cameroon. We are waiting for you. Wow, wow. We are waiting for you. Please go. Oh, <laughs> come and eat roasted so fish guys. and do that. <laughs> okay, we are coming. We're coming. We'll,
At least by next year, we won't meet Cameroon. We need to be in Cameroon next year. I want bye, to everyone. Bye. Bye, 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 everyone. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>